side into the center of the ring with Joe Martinez for the introductions of Sinisa Estrada and Joseph Vizcaino. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, next bout tonight, eight rounds, this scheduled in the flyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing turquoise with white, she weighed in 108 and one quarter pounds. In 12 professional bouts, her record stands even with six victories, six defeats, and three wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of Quita, Ecuador, she is La Chica de Oro, Jose Vizcaino. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing tonight black trimmed in gold, weighed in 108 and three quarter pounds. In 13 professional bouts, she stands perfect, 13 victories, no defeats, three big wins coming by way of knockout, fighting out of East LA, California, she is the undefeated, super bad, Sinisa Estrada. And your referee in charge of the action, Zach Young. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, you want it that way? Uh, okay, which way we want? All right. Okay. Eso poquita más arriba. Desde aquí arriba está bien. Okay. You already had the instructions. Ya tenemos las instrucciones. No hay nada así. Buena suerte. Good luck. Take a look at the Tecate tail of the tape for this our co-main event of the evening, and you'll notice that. In terms of age, okay. Sinisa's four Wait, years know. older, the height is very similar as is the weight, and the reach advantage just one inch in favor of Sinisa Estrada. But it's her amateur experience, her pedigree, that could mark a huge difference in the fight tonight, Jojo. Oh, absolutely. Sinisa Estrada, she has a tremendous amateur background, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna show tonight. All right, there we have the initial bell for this fight scheduled to eight rounds. Female fighters, two minute rounds, and Sinisa Estrada, she came out swinging. There's no, I'm gonna feel her out for a minute, two minutes. It was come out swinging with that left hook. Yeah, she got that check hook going on right away. Uh, she's keeping her pace. She's, she's setting her pace right away to her opponent. She's making sure that she's setting her ground and making sure that her, uh, her opponent knows who's bossing there. With more on Sinisa, we go to Beto Duran as that left hook is landing nicely here early, Beto. Yeah, she's trying to send a message right out to Marlena Esparza. That's the fight that they <laughs> both want to have. I don't want to say there's bad blood. They don't like each other. After Sinisa's last fight, she was watching Marlene. In oh, big down! down. Here, oh. By Sinisa Estrada, and it may Watch be a message for Marlene Esparza, but Save. right now the one who received it was Joseph Biscaino. And Marlene told us before this fight, she said, hey, that's the fight that I want, that's the fight that Marlon wants, and that's the fight that the fans want. And I want to show tonight with the performance that I'm the one to beat at flyweight. Yes, and I love the way Sinisa is uh, keeping her composure in there. She's relaxed, she's staying uh, grounded, and she's just picking her shots, landing beautiful combinations, and uh, it's very calm in there. And I, I love that about her. Uh, before in her previous fights, she, she seemed to uh, tend to be a little anxious in there, throwing a lot of shots and uh, being uh, very aggressive. But right now, she's keeping her composure, landing brutal shots, and being effective with them. She said, everybody knows that I have an amazing left hook. That's my best shot. But she's been working on that right. And you see how she landed that to the body. She said, I want to set up my shots a little bit better. It's the craft that she's been working on since she's been fighting forever, basically. All her life, she says, she's been a fighter. And she wants to prove what she's made of tonight as round one comes to an end. Time, Kimpo. Knockdown, got the knockdown. Boom, your hook is right here. Landed real good on that. Good. Give her some more of those jabs. Counter her jab with that 21. And they keep whipping those body shots. She's already scared. But she's gonna fight. She's a fighter. Tenme la derecha arriba, okay? No me la bajes. Ese ganchito hay que hay que cachárselo aquí, okay? Dele, pues cuando esté adentro, la pelea adentro es la de usted. Cuando esté adentro, suélteme las manos, okay? Go with 
segundo. Round two. Enseñame algo, ¿ok? Back here on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN alongside Joseph Jojo Diaz. I'm Bernardo Osuna. Joseph Biscaino, who is Sinise Estrada's opponent this evening, said, I had a terrible trip from Ecuador. I had to take a two-day bus ride to Cali, Colombia with my trainer. He couldn't go past Colombia. I took a flight to Miami. Then I took another flight to Los Angeles. Was on the road for three and a half days. I want to make my trip worthwhile. But Sinise Estrada did not come here to play tonight. She put her on the canvas in the first round, and in her corner, they said, hey, you have to go out there and throw punches or they're going to stop this fight. Yes, and you can tell right away that she's trying to throw more combinations, but Sinise is just overwhelming her with her, her technique and her boxing Get him skills. Up a little. She's uh, making sure she's Senor still landing vicious body shots, right hands over the top, combinations. Uh, she's Senor fighting Algo. great in the pocket. She's looking tremendous tonight. You know, she said that just like her last opponent, Amaralis Adorno, had never been stopped. She said that's the case with Vizcaino. She's got six losses. She was fighting at age 16. Not in her native Ecuador, but in Peru. She said, my first trainer took me in there just to make some money. And that's why I lost five of my first six fights. She says, but now I've been training better. She's coming off of a layoff after having her son, Angel, who she says she misses a lot on this trip to Los Angeles. But she says, this is who I am. And I want to prove to the United States what I'm capable of doing. Yeah, she, you can tell that she has uh, boxing skills and that she's a very uh, ah, stop, stop, stop. good boxer. Up a but bit. Sinisa okay. is yeah. just on good a box. whole different level. It's showing uh, that she's on an elite level. She's showing uh, that she could switch from southpaw to right hand. And she's throwing punches from different angles and different combinations. So she's uh, making her opponent confused in there. Because once you have a person that's switching in there, it's hard to start adjusting to all the punches being thrown at you. Punch. Yeah. Yeah. And when algo. So from yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. orthodox stance or the southpaw stance as Sinise is able to do here as round two comes to an end. It's just an uphill battle for Joseph Biscaino. Time, tiempo. Yeah. Yeah. This is the corner of Joseph Vizcaino with Ignacio Saucedo. Come on, you're a warrior. I got some easy corner if you want it. You're okay. You want to continue? Yes, I do. This is the Hennessy corner cam. Now, Ignacio Saucedo and Jose Saucedo, the, the trainers from Westside Boxing, they got a call from Golden Boy's matchmaker, Javier Razo, and they said, hey, help us out. She's got no trainer. A trainer couldn't make it here. Can you help them out? They helped her lose that last pound, which is the toughest to do. And they said, you know what? As the fight progresses, we'll see a little bit more of her and ask her to do different things. But, I mean, she's here alone, literally. Yeah, and it kind of uh, sucks to have uh, just travel by yourself and travel alone and try to get a trainer or a whole team out here in LA that you don't even know and that, that you're not even Oh, coach. body shot. Oh, great body shot. That's over. And that's it. Nice left hook nice. right to the solar plexus. And Joseph Vizcaino goes down as Sinisa Estrada earns the fourth knockout win of her 14th win career. Her father in there immediately to congratulate her. And wow, what a finish. Great shot. So we talked about the left hand being her biggest shot. In the first round, she dropped Joseph Biscaino with the left hook to the chin. And then in the third round, it was a left hook to the body that ended the fight. Yeah, I love how she was mixing her punches. She was, uh, she knew that her opponent was looking for the headshots because she got knocked down with that hook on top. But then after that, she just snuck in that body shot. Like, and those solar plexus shots are something to deal with, man. You can't recover, you can't recover right away. This is the moment of the stoppage. Jojo, walk us through how it happened. Yeah, see how she was. She set it. She set it up by throwing combinations up on top, keeping the guard up, and then she snuck in those body shots right underneath the glove, and she landed it right on the solar plexus right there. Ooh, it was actually a, a liver shot. How beautiful liver shot! Yeah, look, the way she reacted, you knew that it was one of those debilitating shots 
And it was a perfectly landed liver shot from Sinisa Estrada, right on the left, on the right side of the body of her opponent. We see the total punches landed 41%. Very efficient was Sinisa Estrada. The jab was non-existent for her opponent, basically, but in terms of power punches, that's where Sinisa really did the most damage. 126 thrown, 55 landed for a 44% clip. And any fighter in the world is gonna have a tough time dealing with those types of numbers and the power that she showed tonight. Absolutely. All right, we send it up to Joe Martinez for the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially 20 seconds. Round number three, referee Zach Young stops this bout for your winner. She is still undefeated. Her fourth knockout victory from East LA. Super bad, Sinisa Estrada. Sinisa Estrada looked impressive this evening here in front of her hometown fans at the Novo Theater in Los Angeles. And with her is our own Beto Duran. Go for it, Beto. Sinisa, congratulations on the victory. Your 14th one, but your fourth stoppage. How did you feel you did tonight? Um, I thought I felt, I thought I did great. Um, I've been working on strengthening and sharpening and shortening a lot of my punches. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it worked tonight. And uh, I think the biggest thing for me was just staying active. And now thank you to my promoter, Golden Whip Promotions, for keeping me active. And this is my third fight this year, and I'm, I'm ready to go again. And uh, I think the most dangerous thing for me is to just be active. And the more active I am, I think the better and better I'm going to get. You came out really sharp. You dropped it in the first. It's different from the way you've been in the past, where you started slow. Is that a new attitude, a new approach now? Um, I think I just feel more comfortable in the ring now. And um, I know that I can uh, take my time, and I can show different parts of my because of a lot of things I can do. I can box from the outside, I can counter punch, I can find the inside, uh, work the body, so I just wanted to show all of that. And you probably want to show Marlena Sparza something too on ESPN, didn't you? I'm ready, I'll be ready anytime, I'm ready tomorrow.